Stop talking. Yeah, this camera ain't working too good. I definitely want to come back to here during the day. They're empty. Look at they're empty. It's empty, it's completely empty. <clears throat> here. I know. Might be able to identify the train, be able to see inside. When I be back, my stuff will fall and the train moves. <laughs> I'll be screwed. Hold on. Shh. Quiet. Alright. Shh. I have to come back here during the day. I hope this train's still here during the day. Wow, it's completely empty. Shut doesn't do nothing. See, all right, there we go. That's a good picture. This is a completely empty train. If you can see it, you don't see any benches or shackles yet. Um, this train is huge, and this is a refitting station where at where they uh, do work on trains. But um, this is a completely empty train, double decker, just like the typical FEMA trains. There's a young there's the floor, you can see the floor, and there's the sides with the ventilation. I don't know if you can see it from here, but there's the beginning of a part of the train. <clears throat> I came here last night, a couple hours ago, maybe three, four hours ago, to see this train that's near my house. I live right near a train station, and um, <clears throat> there's trains that run by all the time, but not like this, so... Last time I came out in the middle of the night to uh, film a train, it was a FEMA train. For the best I could see, it was a FEMA train. Now, uh, <clears throat> this is another train. It's not a FEMA train, but it's definitely... There's something suspicious about it. And uh, hopefully I can get out and get some good footage of it. Uh, even though it's raining and snowing in the middle of uh, spring. But, uh, who cares? Alright. Here we go. And then there's this. This is not a typical train. <laughs> I've not seen these. I haven't seen these all my life. I've never, been, never seen a train like this in my entire life. Not as big as this. I mean, this. I think this is like an equipment train, but uh, ain't no equipment in it. A and B. I mean, try and get up in here.
at it. Let's see here. Hope they don't start this thing with me messing around. <laughs> Look at there, inside. Let's see if you can see in there. Ventilated, of course. There's nothing in there. Nothing. Nothing! See all that goes. Each train is completely empty. Uh, you'll notice that, I mean, this is a refitting station, and uh, it's where they refit trains. And I'm wondering what exactly they're doing here. Like, look, look how far this thing goes down. This is huge. It just never ends. Start jogging down there. I've been jogging for a while, actually. <laughs> now, here's the funny thing, some information. I'm in Rochester, New York, all right? And, um, the, the city's dead, okay? There's nothing really going on here. Kodak's gone. So why exactly do they have these massive, massive, empty, double-decker trains here? I couldn't tell you, but, I mean, there's nothing here for them to ship or move. We don't have any more factories here. I mean, just look at this thing. Look at the size of this thing. Slow down for a second. It's miles long. I mean, miles and miles long. I'm not even kidding. You know, I could spend about two hours jogging that way. 35 to 45 minutes down is my car. And we won't even get to the midpoint of this damn thing. You could fit my whole city in this. I'm not even lying, you could fit all of Rochester in this train if something bad were to happen. And now, with all these crazy things going on in the world, you've got all these, just all these weird things going on. If they declare martial law or something like that, this might be one of the tools they use to move people from point A to point B from this city or another city to a FEMA camp. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the weather's not too nice. Um, I'm trying to get other people to come out here with me, but as usual, I'm by myself. I think I'm really a little too afraid to be out, out here. Further down that way is the refitting station. Uh, there's all kinds of fences. Way, way down there, where they refit and remold the trains. Matter of fact, if I can get another guy, I think there's another station on this side. But, uh, they're doing something to this train. I don't know what, but, I mean, this is creepy, people. Some of the people on, on here might say that this is just something normal. You know, it's just a regular equipment train, but not this big. This thing is huge. Again, this is another train cart. Should this one open? All right, I thought, I thought that was open, but it's not. You look inside, it looks just like what you'd see in World War II. The trains they used for the Jews. I mean, you could fit hundreds of people in here. Hundreds. No sweat. Just enough room. For even the tallest man to uh, to be in here boxed up. <sighs> Try and get on the other side. Ooh. See, look. This train is huge. <sighs> man, this is not fun out right now. It's gotta be like just about freezing out. I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute because I don't wanna, whoa, never mind. Check this out. It's wide open. Let's walk up in here. Take a good look. All right. And I was gonna get lucky today. Oh, well, I'm inside one of these damn things. As you can see, uh, it's ventilated. I mean, this is, this is an equipment train, but you could fit a whole lot of people in here. And like I said, this thing is massive. This train is massive. 
Take a good look, man. This might be your new home pretty soon if uh, we don't wake up. Some people on YouTube might say, well, you know, I'm just paranoid and whatnot, but again, I state the facts. They built FEMA camps. That's a fact. Look at what Glenn Beck said. These FEMA TV camps, I'm tired of hearing. You know about them? Sure. I'm tired of hearing. I wanted to debunk them. Well, we've now for several days done research on them. I can't debunk them. And we're going to carry the story tonight. I don't know anything about them. It is, it is our government. hundred of them, and each one can hold a lot of people. They're built near large incineration plants. There's one on the border of Canada and New York that can supposedly incinerate 15,000 a day. They're building mass graves. I'm going to upload a video.